I have done it. There are a few content types out of the variety that I make that I consider to kind of be my bread and butter to where I know what I'm doing, where I'm covering it more in depth than most other channels and where I provide a certain level of expertise or at least experience. And in that regard, I get to make requests of the industry. I put out a video a while back of it was just dear webcam companies and specifically dear Logitech asking them to give us finer control over the webcams to figure out why the frame rates are so bad to get better settings to make them look better you know to use them as a camera if they're going to be sold as streaming webcams professional webcams and so on they've done it i got the pr email this morning a few hours after it already came out on the twitch subreddit <laughs> logitech has put out a new beta for their game hub software now this is looks to be a supplemental replacement for the Logitech gaming software and in a sense it will also replace the Logitech camera settings app so you're kind of there's a lot of apps floating around that you're going to kind of ditch with this but this new hub app aims to be a better Logitech gaming software that gives you more control over your different Logitech devices on the whole what they don't advertise on the page is it gives you granular controls or at least a bit better controls over your Logitech webcams or at least a few of them and they save persistent past reboot. That has been my number one complaint and why I have kind of said webcams are useless for content creation right now is every time you reboot your machine, all of your settings that you set up for your live stream, your exposure, your contrast, your saturation, your white balance, your frame rate, it all gets thrown away every time you reboot. And it's incredibly infuriating. No more! With this Logitech G Hub software, you can now lock your settings into place and as long as the app boots with startup, it applies whatever profile you choose and you can set up multiple different profiles and it applies them and it gets picked up in OBS. If you're ch changing exposure too much, there is still some like auto compensation going on because if you like blast it out, you'll see it kind of try to recover a bit, but for the most part, it works. And I am so freaking stoked. Now, this works with exactly three webcams. I went ahead, I have a wall of webcams on this monitor here and I tested it with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven webcams. The ones that it works with are the Logitech C920, the C922, the Logitech Brio 4K webcam, which I am using to record right now at 1080p 60 FPS because the 4K modes are still ridden with audio delay. It's terrible, it's awful, and it's very noisy, although so this is pretty noisy compared to my normal camera setup, which I can actually do a little Flipping back and forth here once this camera boots up. I should have had that ready in advance. Yeah, but it works with exactly three Logitech webcams. I tested with all the ones I have. C920, C922, and the Brio. I guess the ones that they think people will be using with streaming. It does not work with the C615, the C930E, the C310, the C920C, and it doesn't work with the Razer Kayo. And I wanted to test that anyway, just as kind of a joke, since I made comments about it basically being a C922 with a light on top. It doesn't detect it doesn't detect any of them but those three but if you're using a brio a c920 or a c922 this gives you more control you have more control settings you have your exposure and color and whatever it gives you a preview which is actually kind of problematic because then if you're trying to use it in obs then or you can't add it like you know there's a conflict a webcam can only be detected by one device at a time or one piece of software at a time and so Either you have the preview in OBS, which I actually recommend pulling up OBS first because you get a bigger preview, or you have it in G-Hub. And in G-Hub, they only give you a teeny tiny preview, so to check things like focus and so on, I'm having to crank the little zoom in to like 500 times to see what I'm doing because the preview is really tiny. That being said, the cameras still aren't perfect. This is their like $200 Pro Brio webcam. I had to set it to 1080p 60 mode. It's still noisy as can be. There's still some focus issues, like it will focus best if I get up real close on it. But then I've had lots of trouble as I've been playing with them. If I even move like, this is what? Three and a half, three and a half at most feet from the webcam, the autofocus will start to lose me in the background. And I have to manually like adjust focus. And even then I can't get it to focus. Like they have very close, close ideal focusing distances before they just go into infinity. And again, the 4K mode on the Brio is still trash. It's still has a ton of audio delay that I can't seem to work out. All right, white balance is a little bit different here. I may need, I don't know why my Z cam looks like this, but this is the Z cam E2. 
webcam replacement that I covered in a previous video. Obviously, this is a more expensive camera. It's a $250 camera plus a hundred something dollar lens plus a hundred dollar cam link. But this is what a normal like micro four thirds small sensor camera looks like at 1080p 60 upscaled to 4K for the purposes of this and jump back to the Brio at 1080p 60 upscaled to 4K. You can see there's some significant differences, but it is certainly more competitive with the use of this app. I am super appreciative to Logitech for listening to feedback. I, I'm not going to claim 100% responsibility with my video, but I am glad that I made it. I will say that. And I'm glad that this tool is out here for streamers. If you do streaming or content creation, you definitely want to set this up because nothing's frustrating than trying to renail your settings over and over past reboots. And even if you don't get your settings looking perfect, or, you know, even if you know, you can't do magic with a webcam, it's certainly a lot more serviceable than it was before. Links to this beta, beta, beta software, it's still in early access, will be in the description down below. Apparently it does a lot for RGB syncing of your Logitech keyboards and mice and speakers and all that stuff. I don't care about that. I care about the implications for the webcams. Again, I tested with every webcam I could get my hands on and there you go. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Share it out to as many people as possible that if you know that they use Logitech webcams, you want them using this software so they can get the best out of it. While you're down there, subscribe for more awesome tech educational content and come consider contributing on Patreon where we keep this kind of education going for free. Apologies for the hammering noises you may be hearing. They suddenly started roofing our building this week and my apartment management office gave us no warning whatsoever. I'm Eposvox, here to make tech easier and more fun. I'll see you next time.